Hello everyone and welcome again to Lightway Research and Technology Center. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification button below so that you never miss new videos and tutorials you might be interested in. We are going to look at how to perform the Yagubera normality test in EVUs in this particular video. Please note that uh, normality is one of the key assumptions of the classical linear regression model and the tool which is used to check for this assumption is called Yagubera test. This test is used to determine whether a given sample of data has skewness and kurtosis that match a normal distribution. In other words, the Yagubera normality test is used to verify the assumptions of the normality. It's used to test whether the data deviate from the normal distribution assumption. Now, what are the reasons for performing this particular test? We have several reasons, but in this video, I'm going to focus on just three. The first one, which I have here is assumption verification. The second is improved model performance. And the third is ensuring robustness of statistical tests. Now let us look at the normality, uh, non-apothesis of Yagubera test, the alternative apothesis, as well as the decision rule. For the normal non-apothesis, the data are normally distributed. That is the non-apothesis. It's assumed that the data are what's normally distributed. For the, but for the alternative hypothesis, it is assumed that the data are not normally distributed. So when you reject the non-apothesis, what you are saying is that the uh, data are not normally distributed. What is the decision rule? Reject the non hypothesis if the probability value of the Yagubera statistics is less than 5% and conclude that the data do not follow a normal distribution. Otherwise, fail to reject the non hypothesis and conclude that the data follow a normal distribution. So quickly, let me take you to let me take you through how to perform this particular test in EVUs. I want to launch my e-views. Okay, I have my e-views here. This is my work file. So here I have my dependent variable, which is the GDP. I want to make use of the log of GDP. And I have my independent variables, which are oil price, inflation, and population. Please take note, inflation is in percentage. That's why I did not log it in this particular model. To perform the Yagubera test, you first need to estimate ordinary least square model. So the first thing you do is to highlight the dependent variable, then followed by the independent variables. The first is inflation, next is oil price, and the third is population. Then you right click and open as equation. Once you open as equation, you have this window. The method of analysis is least square. Then you click OK. Here is the least square results least squares results to obtain the statistics for Yagubera you go to view from view you select residual diagnostics then you select histogram you can see normality test histogram once you select his histogram you have this particular charts and statistics you can see here that the series is the residuals. Don't forget, 
the residuals then we have the mean we have the median we have the maximum we have the minimum we have standard deviation we have skewness we have ketosis the all these things we have explained it in one of our videos you can check our channel for videos on descriptive statistics so i'm not going to discuss this ones in this particular video what i'm interested in is the yagubera statistics and the probability of the yagubera statistics if you look at it you will see closely you will see that the yagubera statistics is 4.797741 now take a look at the probability of the yagubera statistics this is 0 0.0908 to zero and the decision rule state that you should reject the non hypothesis if the probability value is less than five percent and if you look at it here you will notice that the probability value of the Yagubera statistics is uh, greater than five percent if you are not sure let's make use of the calculator and check we have 0 0.908 to sorry 0 0.09 to 0 then you multiply it by 100 what does it give us this is 9.082 which is greater than five percent so with this we cannot reject the non hypothesis because it is greater than five percent so the conclusion here is that the data are normally distributed that is the residuals do not deviate from the normal distribution so with this we have come to the end of this particular video please kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below also turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified when we drop new videos on data analysis research and some other issues thank you